In this Cypress tutorial, we are going to see how to stop auto rerun test in the Cypress. So whenever we make changes in this automation test, so it will automatically rerun all the test cases in the Cypress test runner. So how you can stop this particular functionality in the Cypress, we will be seeing in a couple of seconds. Say for example, I'm having a 50 automation tests like this. So if I make one line code change, then it will run, it will rerun automatically all the 50 test cases, right? So that is not accepted behavior when I'm, when I'm developing a particular automation test or whenever I'm developing a new automation test. I don't want to execute the all other test cases automatically, right? So that is not a accepted behavior when we are working in the real-time projects. So simply you can specify watch for file changes colon false. You can set this particular flag in the cypress.config file and if you specify this particular flag in the cypress config file it will it will stop the auto rerun of the cypress automation test so let's open the our test runner so here i'll say npm run cypress colon so right now i'm opening the cypress test runner Firstly, we are going to reproduce the issue, then we are going to fix the problem. So here I'll say start end-to-end -end testing in the Chrome. So we want to run our test cases in the Chrome browser. I will select the spec file. So let it run this particular my test one. So when you select first time, it is going to run the all the tests which are there inside the particular JS file. So our test is completed and if you look at here, so our test is getting passed. So I'll come back to the Visual Studio code now. So let's try to add the same test case once again here in this uh, VS code. So here I will rename the test name as my test to and here at the end, I will update the log message. So if I save this particular JavaScript file, so automatically it will start rerunning all the test cases which are there inside this particular JS file. So let me save this particular file. And if you see here, so it is started executing the my first test one. So if we are having 50 test cases or 100 test cases, so it is going to rerun all the test cases. So that is not an accepted behavior in the real-time projects. So we will see how to disable this particular feature in the Cypress. So simply you need to specify this particular flag inside the cypress.config.js file. So that is the watch for file changes flag you need to specify inside the Cypress configuration file. So here I will open the Cypress configuration file and after the line number three simply I will add the flag called watch for file changes. So that's it. I will simply save this one and I will let me close this test runner and we will re relaunch it once again the test runner. So I will close this browser and uh, Cypress window also. So let's reopen the test runner. So this time if I make any changes in this particular JavaScript file, so it is not going to execute all the test cases until unless I explicitly mention that run all test. So let's select the end-to-end -end testing here and let's click on the end-to-end -end testing and here I will select the js file so firstly it is going to execute the all the tests which are there inside the first cypress test dot cy dot js file so let it run all the two test cases then we will make the some changes in the test 2 that is my first test 2 and it, it should not rerun the all the test cases right so now our test cases are getting passed if you see the count here so and also right now 
there are no test cases running in the Cypress test runner. I will come back to the VS code. So simply I will add, sorry, here I will update the one log, log message. That's it. So now I'm going to save this particular file. And if you see here, so it is not rerunning all the test cases which are there inside the this particular JS file. So previously it was rerunning the all the test cases automatically which are there inside this particular JS file. So by using this particular flag, we can disable the auto re rerun of the test cases or a test in the Cypress. So this is how we can stop the auto rerun test in the Cypress.